Uh, Dalton Schultz certainly having a uh, very good season last year. 88 targets, 59 receptions, 635 yards, and five touchdowns. Thoughts on Cole, or on uh, Dalton Schultz? So his last year in Dallas and his first year in Houston were almost identical, right? 88 and 89, 59, 57, and 635, 577, both with five touchdowns. I think this is pretty much who Dalton Schultz is, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the last couple of seasons, he has missed two games. So if he's able to stay healthy, yeah, you can add on to that a little bit. But I think somewhere in this, you know, 9 to 13 range is pretty much where Dalton Schultz is going to live. He's going to have a couple high weeks um, to really help you out. But, you know, I think it, you need to expect and anticipate the fact that he's just going to miss some time. So he can't be you know, the, the only player that you're expecting to produce at tight end, if you are waiting in that position, but while on the field, I think you can be pretty happy with that. He's extremely serviceable, had one game, excuse me, two games that were really kind of a dud week three at Jacksonville and uh, week 12 at home against Jacksonville, ironically. So mm, the Jags seem to have a good game plan for him, but outside of that, like, he was very respectable, right? Uh, week one against the Ravens, maybe, maybe not so much, but Baltimore is one hell of a defense. Mm -hmm. um, but then you're getting into it. I mean, seven targets, 10 targets, seven targets, 11 targets. Week nine was amazing, right? Against Tampa Bay, uh, 11 targets, 10 receptions, 130 yards and a touchdown. Like you don't see too many tight ends be able to do that. And Dalton Schultz does seem to have at least one game like that every season. So, um, you know, built in, but I, I like him where his value is. I think there's a little bit of upside that you can get out of that, but I do feel like it's pretty much also at his floor. Like I don't see him going really any lower than tight end 14 where he's being drafted. Yeah, I, I think that's a pretty good summation there. Uh, this is a guy that you know you you you're, you're drafting what you get basically, right? Like there's there's not a ton of upside to it. There's not a ton of you know, downside there as well. Like you're you're kind of getting him at about where he'll finish. Um, he's coming off the board at, at tight end fourteen. I think ceiling maybe gets up to tight end ten, but again, I think that this is more a a, a top end um, tight end two than a back end tight end one there. So. That's kind of where I'm, where I'm looking at that, where I'm seeing that one come kind of play out there. You're, you're also, you know, adding in the fact that they, they brought in Stefan Diggs, and so that'll change some of the, the target dynamics and some of the how this offense is going to flow a little bit. Uh, the strength of season, um, you know, strength of schedule for the season and for the playoffs is not uh, overly good on either front there. So there's, there's some things that uh, that do give me a little bit of hesitation around Dalton Schultz. But a guy that's, you know, if if push comes to sub, I, I wouldn't mind having on my my fantasy roster there. 